someone will say, uh, Capitec has actually give, gave us your information. They said we are, we are paying more than necessary, so we will send you a form. When they send you a form 16, that's a dead review form. And the guys, the process is in debt. Before you can even be part of that review, you need to be assessed accordingly. I always say that review will assist those people who have received Section uh, 129 letter. That also refer you to debt cancellation, okay? And you are at the verge of losing your property through foreclosure or your car through reposition. Like, tell me, why, why do you go for debt review because of, like, clothing account? Something that you can simply pay off? Something you can mediate yourself and pay it off? Aye, uh, guys. You know, this is totally unfair because now people think that, oh, I will be paying lesser premiums. Okay, let me go for this. You know, now you are in debt review because you were owing jet underwears there. You didn't pay them. You went to jet review for, for undies, something smaller like that. No. Guys, I'm not attacking any debt review company. I'm a debt counselor myself. And I assist people who are heavily indebted. A uh, second problem with other debt review processes, these companies, and I think NCR must intervene in this issue. You know, you find that these people cross-sell on your account. So you ended up having like a, an additional insurance, you know, like a credit life insurance that you do not necessarily need in this situation. So instead of you debt going down, is not even going anywhere. Every month, you are, you, it's, like, it's like you are paying the monthly fees and then this insurance and a little money goes towards the creditors. That is another problem. You can't put pressure on top of uh, 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 financially pressurized people. So those are the few things you must look at. But what I can also tell you that if you are not happy with the company that handles your debt review processes and stuff, you can actually opt to change it. It's not easy to get out of debt review. People were asking me, eh, now how do we get out? Those people who promise to get you out of debt review will charge you the same, like same amount, like 6,000, 8,000 or so. Because it must go through the court process. And the court must actually be convinced that now you are fought. And you must clearly make, make it uh, obvious to the court that I was misled. And then in that way, you will be taken out. Okay? You must make it clear that even from the first place, I was misled. Okay? Because, like, it's also expensive to get out. We only say if ever you are in a situation where your property can be repossessed, through that review, the court will protect you. Maybe your car will be reprocessed. Through debt review, you will be protected. So those are the people who actually need to be in this debt review business thing. Not everyone who can just be uh, pitched into and then someone you don't even know where are they. Many people are saying, Ish, I received a call and then I agreed and I'm in this process. I don't even know where where, where are the offices of these people? Like, like really? So if you do not know the, even the offices, how can you agree? Because this is a financial decision. So the simple process, a debt counselor must sit down with you, analyze your financial situation before they can determine if you are overly indebted. That's what they need to do. They need to sit down with you before they can determine if you are overly indebted or not. It's not like you are just simply taking anyone on the street and say you can be part of this so that you pay less a premium, you know. So on a monthly basis, your debt counselor must sit down with you and guide you and help you. Every month you can be seeing improvement if you are with the people who can do uh, the, the debt counseling process in a bona fide way. But now we find that these people are more like scamming. Because the way, you, the way it's happening, this industry now is so corrupted in such a way that even the legit debt counselors cannot be trusted now. Because of all these people messing up other people's financial lives. 
You understand? So this is one thing of which I am also calling on NCR uh, to open doors or a, a channel where people with grievances, people who are misled, can be assisted because NCR is a, a lay community. And this need their intervention like this. We can't work as dead counselors when everyone you are approaching wants to get out because they were misled by these call center people. Like for real, this need to be sorted. We cannot play with other people's uh, financial futures. No, we cannot. Other people, sometimes they cannot get a, a job uh, opportunity or a promotion because now they are considered as people who are under terrible financial pressure. It's simply because of greed from these other service providers. What, what I can say is that if you know that legit, le legitimately you need a debt counseling process, change it to the right people. Contact me. I can refer you. I can tell you or assist you, brief you, educate you so that you make a solid um, decision that will benefit you. Debt review is supposed to benefit uh, clients, not the, the companies, all right? This is help. This is supposed to help people. So good people, this is one of the few things you need to understand. And some of you will attest that uh, if debt review is done right, it is very helpful. But for heavily indebted people, for someone who is facing a foreclosure, for someone who is facing a uh, repossession, that will work for you. For someone whose income is no longer enough, it means what you take in is smaller than what's supposed to go out, then you can be assisted. But I open my hands to assist those people who are heavily in debt in terms of advising them first before anything. We need to advise you people. I understand that uh, due to loss of income, due to COVID, all those sort of things, Financially, most people are under pressure, but they need to be educated properly without taking advantage of our African people. This system of debt cancelling process is supposed to be helping, but now all these companies, they are putting adverts on radio, on TV, on papers, of which is not bad, but if ever the, the, the hook up is misleading, then we ended up having an industry that... That is a problem. Anyone, most people now are calling for this thing to be strapped. It's supposed to be helping people, but it's not. And I think uh, we need to call on NCR to really step up on this thing so that those culprits can be identified. If there can be an office from NCR which will accommodate people who are saying, I'm on this because I was misled. You know, when you receive a call, they must actually uh, produce a recording. That shows that this person... It's not supposed to be in debt review. You cannot be earning fine. You, have, you are managing your debts accordingly and then be part of debt review. No, it's for heavily indebted people to protect them from foreclosure, from repossession, a situation where your income is no longer enough to cover your credit, the debt review will assist you. But I will say, contact me, guys. We'll be able to assist you properly. Let me give you my WhatsApp details. Uh, check it out. It's a 076-810-0953. 076-810-0953. Uh, alternatively, um, it's 078-989-7552. 0785257552 yeah yeah you are, you are whispering right 7552 yeah we can assist you and uh, analyze your situation to see uh, how we can be off hand all right so this is uh, our impedent managers we advise we are registered we are regulated to advise educate and assist those people who are heavily indebted so that they can get out of that situation. It can be through mediation where you actually negotiate or we assist you without taking you through the program of debt review. We simply mediate. Okay? So anyone who has received a Section 129 